Ladies and gents, NDTV here with some more Pokemon Emerald. Last episode, we tried to stop Team Aqua from awakening Kyogre. We weren't so successful because the Red Orb went crazy on Archie. And now, the weather is going crazy because both Groudon and Kyogre are awake. So, we're going to head on over to Sutopolis where it seems like that's where the root of all the problems are. So, yep. And I like how the, uh, the rain music doesn't stop here. You know, like when you're surfing and yeah there's occasional droughts as well or heat waves or whatever so yeah it's the top of the city or not needless to say in ruby and sapphire only one of those super ancient pokemon is awake and in ruby it's groudon and in sapphire it's kyogre and of course we still would have to go to the top of the city to solve everyone's problems i guess but yeah stop the city is Sutopolis City is over here in uh, Route 126, and it, to get to Sutopolis City, you have to go underwater, which is interesting, I guess. At least we're kind of safe from all of that rain and sun while we're underwater. But yeah, Sutopolis City is right over here. So let's just go in and see what's going on. Yay, Waylord. Now, as cheesy as that scene looks now, just those two standing there not even hitting each other because they're nowhere near each other, this was pretty awesome back when this game was released. Not gonna lie. And yeah, people are watching them fighting. But uh, yeah, it's kind of weird that Groudon is just like in one small stretch of land right over there. It's not. I highly doubt it's gonna win, but due to story purposes Groudon and Kyogre are pretty much evenly matched but uh, yeah the weather is all wild because of those two these giant Pokemon's only appeared in the middle of the city yeah that would be a thing yeah they can't be friends because the game says so and there's yeah people are taking refuge in the Pokemon centers as well everyone in town is taking refuge yeah I would rather have these people stay inside rather than be outside watching. Oh, and this is a move tutor. I, yeah, the double-edged move tutor. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. She should worry less about double edge and worry about being safe from Groudon and Kyogre. Which is exactly why I'm going to be going outside in the middle of everything. Yeah, can't go through to this part of the city, but whatever. Nothing really important for us there. And over here, there is Maxi and Archie. Kyogre, what's wrong? Look over here, it's the Red Orb. Calm down, Kyogre. I don't know. I can just imagine, like, um... Just Archie, just... His hands up in the air with the Red Orb and one of it just flailing about. I don't know, I think that's kind of funny. And Maxi, he he knows better. Yeah. He's not gonna try to wave the blue orb around. And before I talk to Steven over there, let's um talk to some of these NPCs here. Yeah, she's kind of taking it safe, but these three, they're just sitting there watching. There's an ancient legend that claims the land and sea were shaped by a colossal battle between Pokemon. Well, I'm yeah, you you kind of are seeing that, but that's kind of dangerous as well. And this guy's just cheering both of those on. I don't think he understands just how dangerous the situation could be. Oh well. And you, the the Pokemon aren't angry. Um, I think they're angry at each other. 
this Pokemon fighting Groudon and Kyogre. The two super ancient Pokemon were awakened from a long sleep. So are they cranky? And now they're smashing each other with their uncontrollable energy. Ralph, you being here now I'll take to mean that you're prepared to become involved in this crisis. Um, I guess. Okay, guess we're gonna follow Steven. I'm not even gonna go into the mart or anything. Where is he taking this? Listen, Ralph. Does seeing Groudon and Kyogre make you think Pokemon are to be feared? But that's not true. Pokemon are really more. Why am I asking you this? You already know. No, I don't. That was just kind of out of nowhere. Oh, he's taking us down here. Okay then. Okay, here we are. Inside here you'll find someone named Wallace. I think you have what's hey, I think you have what's needed to help him. Do I? Well, anyways, we're in the cave of origin. In Ruby and Sapphire, Groudon and Kyogre would be at the end of this cave. But here? Not so much. Also, this is the only time in Emerald we can go into the cave of origin. In Ruby and Sapphire we can go after the climax of the story. Hello. But here in Emerald once we talk to Wallace and have everything cleared up, in terms of story, we can't ever come back in here, so that's a thing. Also, it, this place is much shorter than it is in Ruby and Sapphire. I believe this is actually going to take us straight to the end, where in Ruby and Sapphire we'd have a lot more to explore. And we'd also be able to find the Waterfall Atrium here in Ruby and Sapphire. Yeah, we're right at the end. Fun fact, if you hatch a Pokemon or evolve a Pokemon in here, the evolution music or hatching music will still be going on and after, like, the thing happens. Fun fact. But, here's Wallace. Ah, so you are Ralph? I've heard tales of your exploits. My name is Wallace. I was once the gym leader of Zootopolis, but something came up. So now I've entrusted my mentor Juan with the gym's operation. Groudon and Kyogre, the Pokemon, uh, blah, 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 the two Pokemon wreaking havoc here are considered to be super ancient Pokemon, but there aren't just two super ancient Pokemon. There's one more somewhere. Somewhere there is a super ancient Pokemon named Rayquaza. It said that if Rayquaza that be, that it was Rayquaza that become the two combatants in the distant past. Whatever happened to it being the red orb and the blue orb? Like, where did those two come in? Yeah, but even I have no clue as to Rayquaza's whereabouts. What? Ralph, do you perhaps know where Rayquaza is now? No, I don't, actually. If you do, please tell me. So, here it... This is really weird. I don't know why it gives us these four options. Because we're in the cave of origin. So, that doesn't make sense. And we've been to Mount Pyre. But when I met the old lady there earlier, she made no mention of it. Yeah, see, there's... Yeah. And if you say, don't remember... Because, obviously, this main character wouldn't know because he's never seen Rayquaza. But... The, like, the correct option here is Sky Pillar. And you probably wouldn't know that. If you haven't played Ruby or Sapphire beforehand and gotten all the way to the Sky Pillar in the post-game... Or if you were talking to the MP or some of the NPCs in this game that mention the Sky Pillar or a tall tower out in Route 131. So yeah, I don't know why this the game gives us this option because the main character shouldn't know about the Sky Pillar at this point, but Wallace thinks we does. That's it. It must be the Sky Pillar. There's not a moment to lose. We'll head to the Sky Pillar right away. Um. Okay then. Guess I'll just get out of the Cave of Origin then. But yeah, that that just makes no sense. Oh well, this game is just weird. Well, we might as well just leave the Cave of Origin then. And what do you two say? A person with a strong will and superior talent? A trainer who has knowledge and experience of many kinds of Pokémon? Uh, if such a person were to appear, as instructed by Wallace to lead that trainer to this cave. Okay then, Sky Pillar, I've never been there. I wonder where it could be. If you've been talking to some of the 
the NPCs in this game. Some of them will mention that it's in Route 131. But for now, I'll end it off here. We'll head to the Sky Pillar in the next episode. So, see you guys next time for some more Pokemon Emerald. Later.